hello everyone welcome to everyone who's in the chat thank you so much for joining me on our first ever 2v2 uh, noob squad community tournament this is all for fun we are doing this so we can get some experience <laughs> My co-hosts, Miscellaneum, are here practicing our casting. So please be nice to us. We are just starting out and obviously we are going to be only get better from this moment on. And so far it has been a pleasure. Maybe they can get a plant down. Okay, so Ferozo and Chosen. Ferozo and Appa have seen each other. Oh, Appa gets a pick. And gets two. Appa? Carrying that team as a sage main. Well, I mean, marshals are not great at close range, but it does have an almost 100% like um, accurate unscoped. So I think it can work, but if, oh dear. He gets a little bit of damage on Ray's oh, throw, and finishes him off with oh. the ghost. The XT being is on site. Oh, but he gets picked off with a ghost. Wow, they did a amazing job with the marshals. I mean, Chosen um, got those two picks there, was able to finish it out with that ghost, and it looks like for this round, they're going to stick with it again. What do you think about the uh, attackers? Well, I think that the... I mean, it's an interesting decision to keep pushing the site where Sage walled, but... Oh, I think they know that he's up there. there. Oh! And now they have no one left to defend the site, so it's a free plant for them. Okay, and clearing out heaven with a nade. Putting a... Oh, it seems like DXT Bean is expecting a flank and you ult, so just to make it that much harder for Chosen to get on the defuse. That Viper ulti is so annoying to play against. And yes, it is. <laughs> it gives them the kill. You're going into an area where you have no idea what's going on. You're kind of hoping that you spot someone before they spot you. It's yeah, just... the visibility is so low, and you have that decay too. Yes. One Last enemy remaining. Oh, Appa picks off DXT Beam, and now they have a free sight on him. Oh, looks away. Oh, he's pushing into U-Haul. Where Appa's holding a really tight Black angle. Chosen seems to know that's a commonly held angle and turns around, but or Froza and Froza gets picked off. <laughs> I chosen. I think yeah. that was a really good positioning on both parts uh, by Appa and Chosen. Uh, Appa holding that lamp. You know, you always know that people go after going into CT. They want to go either Yuha or go exactly into site. And I think they were covering both angles very, very well, and it gave them that win. I'm a little bit confused on the choice made by the defending team. They have decided to go back to that Judge and Ares combo. Do you think that's working out for them? Well, it hasn't been for the last two rounds, but as long as they decide to hold tight angles, it should be fine for them. I think DXC Bean is expecting them to plant by triple, which is why he's holding that angle. But, oh, but they decide to teleport, denying DXC Bean that surprise with the judge. He teleports after them, so they know where he is. And Chosen is One watching, but he gets landed. murdered by... One enemy remaining. Appa does have... They do have the res, but I don't think that they're going to be able to use it since Chosen died in Hookah. Oh, it was busy wow. di denying them sight. Probably forgot that you could hop up onto that too. And that is it. I think that was an amazing job by DXC Defender for getting please. really, really aggressive. And I think they were aggressive throughout the whole round. I was very skeptical on the gun choices that they made for the last round. But hey, they made it work, and that just goes to show that no matter what weapons you use, if you are good, you're gonna do great with them. But the walls going up, going probably up. just splitting up the site. Careful and he's now. about to throw the hot hand. It does catch Kui a little, but now Kui knows where Nova is. Might go for the defuse. <laughs> Wait. Shock dart. Shock dart. Are those those shock darts those did shock not darts, hit? Yeah. Oh, wow, Nova Rift managing to 
get the kill, but does he have enough time to defuse? He does. With 0.33 seconds, wow. So he doesn't know where they are, but assumes they're heaven since. Okay, clearing CT, and now he's going up to heaven. I think they both think that he's on site. <gasps> Hatches one. Is he Got able to, to secure the other one? Oh, with the shock dart. That was a little bit of a show off move, I feel like. He could have definitely just killed them with his weapon. <laughs> I think the shock dart is a little bit like ha in your face. But I hey, mean, he, he secured didn't it. He them last time, <laughs> so he lands them this time. Seems like they're they they're thinking that someone's going to push them from CT while Nova's playing from garage. And Kui is just standing right under rafters, just waiting. That recon dart is going to miss Gucci, so they have no idea where anyone is. Oh! <laughs> Gucci, Gucci was tracking Kui, <laughs> but Prod catches him off guard. And that on three burst on the classic, classic securing this round for them. Do they have enough time is the question. With they do. Point 13 seconds. Wow. I have to say, that is not. Had he Must missed. So stressful. Yeah. Had he missed that three burst, it would have been round for the attackers. It looks like they're going to meet resistance right on here. this, actually. But the they can hear them, so they know that they're there. But the recon dart One missed the shot. Oh, Gucci gets a pick off of Kui and is healing. So now it is just Prod against the world. <laughs> Prod up in heaven. He manages to get Prod the first kill. Gucci. Nova Rift is gonna flash out. Feeling sight. Nova and Rift kills the flash. And Prod securing it for his team. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the second team going into the finals. DXT Feroso versus Kui Chan and Prod. Congratulations to both teams. They did a wonderful job. I appreciate you guys so darn much. I hope you guys are enjoying this. And this is me and Miscellaneous first time casting together absolutely ever. I think she's doing a good job. So please make sure you say thank you to her in the chat for taking time out of her Saturday and coming in here and practicing her casting with me. Um, again, I'm very new to casting and so is she. So we are uh, we're just trying our hardest to keep you guys entertained and make it fun for you guys in the community. Okay, so Viper flanking through short as she does. I think Prod is expecting the push. Just waiting for someone to peek. So he can get like get that heal off of them. He knows she's there now. One oh, <laughs> pulls out the ability just to swing. And they kill both of them. They managed to swing together. I think that was a great job by both of them to communicate and swing the last person together. Um, yeah, wow. Good communication. Oh, fraud. So, but getting caught out with the bomb. Oh, jeez. I feel like that was a bad decision on their part to go for a split push, especially since there are only two of them. Yeah, I think uh, what happened there, and I would assume, is they just wanted to have a fun round where they see if they could play, get picks. Here. They had been pushing site together, so maybe they thought, oh, they'll stack. Um, and, you know, it is it is the last round for them. If they lose this round, it's not that big of a deal. They have another round Here available to them. Now, they, uh, Reyna knows where Phoenix is. <laughs> Oh, Flash. Doesn't quite catch. What well, does he know that he has an Odin, though? That's the real question. Oh, manages to pick up the bomb. I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Oh, and that is 13-10. Prod and Kui. When the 2v2 Noob Squad Community Tournament! Congratulations to both teams. They did. Yeah, they did fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much again for watching. It was a pleasure to do it. And and again, please, if you guys have some uh, critiques on my casting, maybe how I could do it better, how I could, uh, you know, this is my first time doing it, so I'm still getting kind of 
um, comfortable with casting, especially casting with Miscellaneum. It was my second time ever um, casting with her. We did like a, a practice cast before together, but not really like just hanging out and casting. So or I'm definitely going to watch the VOD and critique myself. And if you guys have any like comments, um, constructive criticism, obviously, don't just be a jerk and be like, you sucked. Because I mean, that doesn't help me get better, right? So yeah. I appreciate y'all. Y'all guys are amazing. I love you guys. I'll catch y'all later.